Hi! I'm Max, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. Long name, whatever. Uh, so, if we go to hard mode, there's this last thing, but I don't want to do that yet, because I want to get all the tapes and coins. Wait, 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 did I miss it? Go back. What am I doing? There. Oh, I don't have it. That's actually really cool. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop flicking through. I'm going to go to prize counter. Oh. I already got that tape, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure there's one over here, yes. Okay, there's a tape. Um. Because if you look right there, there's a purple glitchy thing in a mist. Fantastic. In a mist again. No, ball. Wait, does it teleport back to me? Doesn't look like it. Okay, it stopped. Are you gonna come back, Ball? No? Okay. I'm just gonna replace it. Oh, I got close. What the heck? One thing I hate about VR is that crap. Like, this game actually has it implemented. Excuse me. Let me get the ball back from this. So yeah! I got it. Uh, I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. Uh, return to menu. And if we do this, we have this. A tape player. Oh. Oh my. Um, I've got ten of the tapes. That's a lot. Um... Sick, I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six more to go. Turn the menu. You're doing a great job, and no doubt having a great time as well. As a reminder, please be sure to only interact with core oh, gameplay close. elements Whoa. and avoid anything that could potentially be considered a glitch, mistake, or embedded message from unauthorized personnel. I probably should listen to those tapes. Nah, I'll listen to them all when I have them all. There's a Freddy coin right pizza. here. That's ridiculous. Can I see him, like, get out? Oh, no. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I can't wind it up anymore. Ooh, that's scary. Coin. Oh, oh, that's that's terrible. Hey, glad you came back for another coin night. right there. I promise you will be a lot more interesting this time. We found some some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking These are buttons. Right okay, now. uh, so, uh three, let me five, just update you real quick, and you can get to work. Yeah, like nine, the interaction opened five, in like a week, so we two, had to make sure everything four, worked. Eight. Wow, I managed to remember that code. Uh, I don't care. Yes. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay, good thing I came to check. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Why am I so small? Oh, yeah, because I'm a kid. Uh, if you look over there, I don't know if you can see that. If I'm... Looking up enough for the recording to catch that. There's a thing right there. Tape all the way over at the wall. So, Fox, you be nice. Okay. I'm just gonna get it, and then you can do whatever you want to me. Okay. Boop! Boom, you just said this term is out of that point. must be recalibrated. First, we must act. Take a complimentary slice of pizza oh, I hate for you. a job well done. Oh, wow, that's terrifying. Slice of pizza? Okay, here's what I have to do. Go on. Take it. There you go. Eat it. Oh, I dropped one. Whoops. Delicious. Oh, See you next time.
Welcome back to Freddy's Parts and Service. Whoa, I'm not even going to be able like to reach that. It looks like one of our that. guests left a personal item on oh, our star go, attraction. I I just had to Let's just return it to the lost and found. What's behind your ear? Carefully, it's grab behind. and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. And then by, back here, there's a tape. Uh, can I have the tape, please? I'm, a, I'm out of my bare order. Screw you two, then. Um... Is that everything? Go away. And Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series oh, well, of I repairs should return oh, him to full working condition. This one. First, carefully pick up oh, and place Foxy's I'm wearing the mask. I hate this. This hurts my eye. Oh no. It oh, looks like okay. Foxy's... Okay, grab that. Grab that. Why can't I collect this? Oh. Okay. That's the one I was missing. There's a fake coin! Boom, coin. Now, there should only be three coins left. There should be two in the last level, which I'm actually gonna play now. There should also be a tape in there, and then there should be one tape and one coin somewhere else. So now I can play this. Um, hopefully I get everything. Don't be- Ah, oh, I actually didn't read that before. Shoot. Anyway, I can go through doors, teleport. Uh. Find you. Okay. I don't actually know which door to go through, so I'll just pick random ones. Pretty sure it's that one? Oh, flip. I'll go through that one. Okay. Uh, I don't know, that one? Okay... I think I went through the wrong one. I think I got everything right up to that point except that. Yeah, I don't know why, but people see that bunny and always go through the other door. That makes no sense. Where am I? Here. Spring trap. Need this. Uh. I don't know this one. Oh, that was the wrong one. Okay. Okay. find it. Yes, I'm extremely lost. Help. What? Oh, flip! I went to the wrong one. Okay. What the flip am I supposed to be doing? I don't know. Am I supposed to be reading the things? Am I just supposed to be guessing it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. What happens if I go through here? What happens if I go in here? I want to go back. Uh. What happens if I go through here? Let me in. Can I go in there? No, that's where I came in. Oh, I can go in the vent. No, I can't. 
this isn't about the band. What happens if I go over there? Oh, oh this crap. Okay, I can't go in that vent. I think I have to wait for him to open the door, and then I go somewhere. Can you open the door, please? Uh, I trust you, but here's the problem. I don't know which way to go. Maybe I am being an idiot. Great. Alright, go in this door. Uh, not. Uh, it was pointing that way, so. Ah, I see. This way. I think it's that one. It was, okay. Uh. Pepperoni, favorite flavor. Anyway, pepperoni. This one. Oh, now that's a door. Okay. What goes up? Me. Oh, I made it. There's that tape. You know what? I don't want the last coin. I'll go without it. I don't need it. I don't even know where- I tried to get to the room it was in. Maybe I did, and I'm an idiot. Pizza. Oh, hi! Hi, guy, the guy- oh, wow. Okay, one sec, and I'll be right there. Yaw, scarf, scarf, scarf. Okay, I'm coming. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. boys and girls, what the Fazbear fuck? Entertainment would like you to put your hands together for the one, the only, the only, only, uh -oh. only, play, 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 play. Oh, it's a microphone. Well, I could see that, obviously. Am I Freddy? Oh my gosh. Have I been, I've been stuffed. I am Freddy now. Oh, the credits. La 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 Okay. Um, so what's the deal with airplane food? I don't know. Do you want me to do a comedy routine or do you want me to sing or... Do you want me to do a TED, -ed talk, a TED talk or something? Congratulations on completing the Freddy Fazbear virtual experience. You did an amazing job. You might be wondering okay. if you missed anything or if there's anything left to see. So just take my word for it. You didn't miss anything and there's nothing left to see. <laughs> We're looking forward to a fresh start with you now that we've all had a good laugh at these tall tales. And now that you realize that Fazbear Entertainment is a safe, family-friendly brand with no skeletons in our closet. So goodbye for now, and we'll see you on the toy aisle. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Oh, okay. Um. Uh. Well, I know there's one thing left. Go to gallery. Yay! A new button to press. I was still in nightmare mode. I don't think that matters. Ah, yes, this is where you can see all the different things. Plushies. Okay, this is where you can see, like, all the models. Oh! So that's all the plushies? That's cute. Um, who... I want to look at one more before I go. Uh, Nightmarian. Sure. Why not? 
Oh my goodness. That's terrifying. Anyway, drawer, coin. Yay! Shh. Ooh, snacks, scarf. There it is. <laughs> okay, this um lets you turn them so you can like see what they look like from all angles. Anyway. Oh. There's secret ones? Wait a minute. How did I not notice that? There's secret ones? We got the withered ones. What are these then? Oh, that's awesome. Ah, I'll have to Google that later. Because heck no, I'm not searching for that. Holy sh snipes! Snart, snat, snots. Oh my gosh. Why? Are you there? In... No, he's not here. I'm safe. Okay. So we have all the tapes. I'm gonna play through them. Just so we can. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files. In a place that only a beta tester would look, and in a place where the files could be protected. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain or even understand for that matter. We're over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Listen, I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. There are more. They may not be in order. Okay. I saw it for the first time today. There was a character I couldn't make out who it was, standing at the end of the hall. I thought it was just bugged out, so I made a note of it and kept playing. But then it was looking in the window, and not like Chica or Bonnie would. It was like it was actually looking in the window, seeing what I was doing. Creepy. Uh, hello? There we- no! How do I grab- there we go. I heard a pretty heated conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, and someone else on the line. It really okay. feels like this project is in trouble, in no small part because of the lawsuit, I'm sure. There has to be a lawsuit, there's no way there isn't. It happened in this building just a few doors down from me. I think it's made worse by the fact that Jeremy tried to tell us something was wrong, but as a dev team, we all just saw it as a challenge to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known that? I have to go. Okay. Four. Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? It sounds yes. made up, but it's an actual piece of office equipment. I've seen one. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess they're more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. Okay. Well, that's creepy. The drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No. There was plastic on the floor. Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean... They sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation, told us to scan it, said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Looked pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then... He started appearing. At least that's what Jeremy said. Okay, seems like this Jeremy guy is pretty smart. I came in early that morning. No one else was there. At least that's what I thought. The supply room was lit. I didn't even notice Jeremy standing in the testing room as I walked past. The supply room was so bright. Glowing from all the way down the hall. Okay. Seven. Jeremy complained of nightmares when he came in this morning. He wasn't talking about it like someone telling a friend about his dreams, though. He was pale. 
looked like he hadn't eaten in days. He spent an hour talking in Dale's office, but it didn't look like he was given much sympathy. When he came out, he went directly back to the testing room. He doesn't even jump anymore. Nothing scares him. He just stands there like he's talking to someone. Sometimes he rocks from side to side. We were told to leave him alone. I knew I was in line to do the testing next. They'd been prepping me for it. I guess they knew that Jeremy would need to be replaced soon. That's terrifying. No. You can always tell when a company is getting ready to fire someone. They start giving out written warnings for silly things. Making sure to build a paper trail and make a case for a firing. Things that normally no one would care about suddenly become grave offenses. All worthy of being written and documented. I guess it works two ways. Because it also encourages a person to quit rather than be scrutinized so heavily. I think Jeremy was too far gone to consider that option, though. The thing about it is that I don't think they were going to fire him because of anything he was doing wrong. They just knew he'd seen something. They needed to discredit him. Okay. There was something that looked like a Halloween mask laying on the floor. I didn't understand. Ink must have spilled. It was only then that I heard a shuffle from the testing room and realized Jeremy must be there. I went back and peered in the window. I couldn't see his face. He had the visor covering his head. He had ink spilled on himself as well. The front of his shirt looked black in the dark room. He turned his head in my direction, but I don't think he knew I was there. Okay, I don't think that was ink. I was told I had three days to finish Jeremy's work, but I know it's just passing the time. They don't really expect me to do anything. I it's just to keep up appearances until the buyout is complete. We have to look like we have things under control. There's another potential development studio that wants to pick up from here, but who knows what kind of lies they're being fed to convince them to do it. Against my better judgment, I'm going to do my best to see what's here, make notes of it, and try to isolate where this thing is hiding. At least then, the next person that tests this will have a chance of getting rid of it. Okay, good for you. Today was my last day of beta testing, and the anomaly that I've been seeing is nowhere to be found. But after inspecting some of the files, it seems that it's attached itself to these logs. My logs. That can't be an accident. So now I have to make a choice. Do I leave these logs here for you to find? Or do I try to purge this thing myself by destroying the logs? That clearly I've didn't work out. I've chosen the latter. That clearly didn't work out in your favor, bub. Uh, buddy. Twelve. I can't delete them. By creating oh. a protected area to exactly. store these logs apart from the game, I effectively gave this thing a safe place to hide itself. It's in here now. I may not be able to delete it, but I might be able to do something else now that it's attached itself. I have an idea. Okay. They lied to us. They lied to all of us. Oh. They told us that the whole point of this VR game was to undo the bad PR done by a rogue indie game developer who supposedly made up a bunch of crazy stories that tarnished the brand. But that's not true at all. In their haste to develop this VR game and clear their name, they sent us some things I don't think they intended us to see, such as a hard drive containing emails between Fazbear Entertainment and a certain indie developer. Fazbear Entertainment hired the game developer. Those indie games were designed to conceal and make light of what happened. This isn't just an attempt to rebrand. It's an elaborate cover-up, a campaign to discredit everything. Okay. Uh. I ran a fragmentation program on the area of memory that was storing these logs for you. I effectively broke the files into pieces and broke the anomaly along with it. Mm. That means that you won't have my warnings to guide you, but hopefully it also means that this anomaly, this virus, or whatever it is, will remain broken and unable to do more damage. <laughs> well, um, funny story, uh, okay then. Hello, you don't know me. I had created a series of logs for you documenting the troubled development of this VR game that you're now testing in hopes that you, whoever you are, 
and whatever team you are with will abandon development. Now I fear that those logs are being used as a Trojan horse. If you are unable to abandon development, hide all traces of these logs that I've created. I fear that finding them and reassembling them will also reassemble the very thing I've tried so desperately to destroy. Okay. Uh... There is a way to kill it. It wants to escape. To escape through someone. Yeah, I'm sure someone it does. plugged into this game. That's you now. Oh. You have to let it begin the process of leaving through you. Then use the disconnect switch that I've embedded by the main stage. Let it approach you. Let it begin to merge with you. Play the music and flip the switch. That will cause a hard restart of the game and flush the memory, effectively killing it. I hope. I don't know when it will come for you. Okay, then. Um, now, if I press this button, I'm just going to press all the buttons. Oh, it never did it. Uh, you were supposed to... Well, I have to go back in. I have to go in and out. I don't like the whole loading thing. I'm sure it might skip the loading. No, it doesn't. Um, yeah, it still didn't work. How many times do I have to do this? Like, five times? Gotta work eventually, right? Oh, flip! Button. What did I do? What did I do? Did I do something wrong? Was I not supposed to press that button? Did I screw it up? Oh man, how many times do I have to go back in? Okay, well now, I screwed it up, apparently. I'm just gonna let it merge with me for not try to do the whole button thing first. Hi, this is terrifying. That's cool. Why is the whole plate building empty? Uh. Okay, return to menu. Um. Alright, I got the merged ending. We merged together, but apparently that counts as failing. For some reason. It doesn't seem very hard. Maybe I'm an idiot. Okay. What the flip? What the actual heck? Okay, yeah, I'm YouTubing this. Oh my gosh, it's going right now. Uh. Okay, begin the merge. Oh, I got it. You were just supposed to press like every single button and flick the switch. Where am I? Oh. Oh. What you doing there? Okay, mister. Uh. Oh, he just like disappeared. Oh, okay. Oh, <gasps> I got a plushie! Ah, oh, for all the pain you've put me through, I will take this plushie. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna go to the normal mode so I can see it regularly. Oh, I'm gonna boop your nose. Okay. And take this. I don't care if I didn't get all the coins. That doesn't matter. I'm flipping done. Thank you all for watching this series. Maybe I'll continue it with the Dreadbear DLC one day. Probably not. Anyway. Goodbye.